Welcome. This is uh, Freedom Through Law. Uh, those of you who are good scholars of legal jurisprudence probably know um, of a gentleman called Lord Denning. Lord Denning is known to have written a book, I think, about freedom uh, in the law. But this is called Freedom Through Law by Isaac Christopher Lubogo. But we probably borrow some of those arguments because uh, Lord Denning, as you know, is uh, widely celebrated as a, an incredible jurist, if you like. Uh, my argument and the proposition in terms of this is uh, the argument that the law sometimes is looked at as, as a dogma, uh, as, a, as, a, as a clog. In fact, to use Charles Dickens' words, the law is an ass, in his argument. And to use uh, Shakespeare's words, he says, the first thing we do is let's kill all lawyers. Um, so you must understand that sometimes the law is interpreted to be a dogma. And so my argument is more like uh, an emphasis or so trying to create uh, you know, debates in terms of whether or not uh, the law should actually be given that ambit to be free in terms of uh, arguing or in terms of helping people rather than becoming a dogma uh, in and therefore inflexible. Uh, so perhaps that's the reason why equity comes into law. Those of you who are uh, good scholars of law, you will argue and say there was a, the, uh, the, the, the coming in of equity and common law. Equity came into a bed to resolve those rigors that were fixed. So in this book of Freedom Through Law, we make those propositions in terms of uh, uh, precedence, uh, the argument of precedence, the argument of, of uh, the dogma of the law. So we present, so it's a, it's a good book for purposes of the jurisprudence, by the way. And in terms of appreciating those components that we hope you to understand uh, whether or not it's time to free the law. And maybe the recommendations we'll make is uh, in terms of legal realism. And one of the greatest pro proponents for that was, I think, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes, whose argument was in terms of the law should be reason and should be given opportunity to reason it with society. You know, that's what is the law yesterday may not necessarily be the law today because of the changing environment. So that's the argument we make in terms of the argument of freedom through law. So this is another incredible book that you probably want to find on lubogo.org or suegeneralislawapp.com. So God bless you and be blessed by it.